Welcome to another edition of Anthony T's Film and Memorabilia Collection. In this edition, I'll be talking about some of the films I picked up during various halfway to Black Friday sales. No, I will not be going into any VS titles because I don't have any VS titles at the moment. That will be a separate video. Once I get the package, obviously. But here we go. First off, we're going to start off with a tote bag I got. As I decided to replace my convention tote bag, I used to have a Hellraiser tote bag. I still have it, but I figured it's been like a couple years. I figured time to change it up a bit. So I decided to go with Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. As you can see here... My Silver Shamrock Novelties tote bag, which I picked up at tpublic.com. Now, if you don't know what tpublic is, if you do a design there, they can do many things with your design. They can do t-shirts, tote bags, coffee mugs, etc. Anything, basically. That they have. And you can think of. Within reason, of course. So I decided to pick that up. Since that looks so cool. And I wanted to go with another tote bag. Now on to the films that I picked up. And I picked up a bunch of them. Between episodes. And I don't want to go into... 10 million films, so I just grabbed whatever I could from the sales. First, I'm starting off with the Make Flicks Halfway to Black Friday sale. The first film I picked up was, is Kingdom of the Vampire. Now, this is a remake of a J.R. Brookwater film. This is directed by Brett Kelly. Now, I'm a big fan of Tempe video, Tempe digital stuff. From back in the early 2000s, late 90s. And I really wanted to see this film because I love vampire films. So I decided to pick it up for the sale since it was around $10. So I picked it up. The next film I picked up is a newer film called Children of Sin. Now I saw the trailer for this film. And I decided I had to pick this film up. It's one of those films where it passed the trailer test. So I will be watching this eventually. As I'm trying to make it to 100 horror films this year. I'm getting there. I'm over 40 right now. So we're about almost at 50. Trying to get to at least 50 by the end of this month. Then... A film called Savage Vengeance. Now this is a film starring Tamara Glenn from Halloween 5 and Terrifier 2. Again, I saw the trailer for it, liked it. Plus the fact they had Tamara Glenn from Halloween 5 and Terrifier 2. Now, I don't like Halloween 5, but I thought the acting was good. It's just the script was horrible. That was the problem with Halloween 5. The script and the directing in that film made that film so horrible. But the acting was good. And made it at least bearable to watch. Because Halloween 5 at least wasn't Halloween 6. Where it was a complete mess and probably one of the worst edited films I've ever seen. Alongside Glenn Danzig's Veronica. But enough of that. We're not talking about films. We're talking about what I've picked up lately. Moving on to a film called MILFs vs. Zombies. Yes, that's the title of a film. It's one of the earlier films from a film company called Fuzz Monkey Films. They've usually done some really good stuff, that company. So I decided to pick it up 
to check it out since it was one of their earlier releases. Plus, it was one of the things that came out during their Halfway to Black Friday sale. Now, moving on to Scream Team releasing. As they had a couple of new titles drop. Cruel Summer and Cr sequel Cruel Summer 2. Now, the trailers for both of these films look very good. I cannot wait to check these films out, personally. As it looks like it has this retro 80s slasher feel to it, which I like. I'm hoping these are good films. I have faith that they're good films. Scream Team, for the most part, has done some very good releases. The only film... That I really hated from Scream Team releasing. Was a film called Maniac Farmer. That film's atrocious. And it was part of a double bill with another film. Which was very good. I don't get it. You have a double feature where one film's great. And the other film's atrocious. Strange. Really. It is. Then we have VHS 99. This is the latest entry in the VHS series. This premiered on Shudder last year. It's a very good film. I like this film a lot. Even though it's probably number four when in terms of VHS films. As the first, as four of the five films are really good films. The only really bad film in the VHS series, and I wouldn't even say it's a bad film, was the third one, Viral. And it it was an okay film, but at least the last two VHS films have been great. And I can't wait for the next one to come out later this year, quite frankly. The next film is another indie film called Deadly Dealings. This is a fun, entertaining, supernatural horror film starring Ronnie jo Jonah, Adam Friedman, and Jessa Flux. It's one of those films where it's very devilish, has a devilish ending to it. And it's a very entertaining film. It has really good direction from Adam Friedman. And really good performances from Ronnie Jonah. And Adam Freeman. And Jess Flux. Jessa Flux. And speaking of Jessa Flux and Ronnie Jonah. They also appear in this film. Debbie Does Demons. I would show you the other side of that. But. I could get thrown off YouTube for it. The film also stars Angel Bradford. All the actresses in the film were very good in this film. This was very fun to watch. Probably one of my favorite Donald Farmer films. As I think this had more of a professional feel to it than most of his films. Plus the fact that I thought the action was very good. The humor was good as well. So this is definitely a film to check out. I know. There's a horror film titled Debbie Does Demons. It's crazy. And finally, a film called Death Metal. Not to be confused with the short film Death Metal. As those are two different films. But this was very good. I enjoyed this a lot. I thought the direction in this film was very good. They get some really good lead performances in this film. I like the fact that the supernatural elements are played up very well. There's also some head-banging music in this film that metalheads love. So I would recommend this film, Death, excuse me, Death Metal. To anyone who's into these 
heavy metal horror type films. It's the latest release from Veep Co. and Bayview Entertainment. As they've done some good releases. I have to admit, Seeds is a really good release. And so on. Now, before I leave, I'm going to give you a quick recommendation of a film I recently saw that I believe you people should check out. It's a film called Undead. Now, if you see the Lionsgate trailer for this film, it's kind of very misleading as they made it out to be some sort of post-apocalyptic zombie film. It doesn't feel like a post-apocalyptic zombie film. It has humor in it. It has weird stuff in it. There's some scenes that are just bonkers. This is just such a fun film from the Spearig Brothers. If you don't know who the Spearig Brothers are, they've done films such as Daybreakers and Jigsaw. But this is probably their best film, their first film, Undead. Definitely pick this up. I picked it up back in January this year when it came out through VS under their partner label Umbrella Entertainment, which is actually Umbrella Entertainment's first U.S. release. I'm glad they're starting to release stuff here in the U.S. because I like to see some of their stuff come over to the U.S. I don't want to buy imports. I'm not an import person. Sorry. So, I highly recommend you check out Undead. It's a very entertaining. You'll get a couple of laughs. And it's very intense. This movie moves by fast. And it's definitely worth checking out. And that wraps up another edition of Anthony T's Film and Memorabilia Collection. I want to thank you for watching this video. Have a good day. Support indie wrestling. Support indie horror.